I'm in Slim's workshop and I'm about to do a trade with him to get, oh, that's cool, the slime armor boots and another upgrade template just to the guard version of for the cleaver. And I'm going to still have the manulin uh, cleaver thing, but that looks cool still. Is that the slime armor? Oh, so that's what he means that it's without the sleeves. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, he put an aquarium? But this is actually cool. There's six wither heads and one diamond block. Oh, yeah. Oh, slime armor boots. I don't know if I have a bounce or anything. Now I'm off to upgrade my <laughs> lever. I have to duplicate this nether upgrade template before I can use it. Uh, where is it? Um, it's like this, this, and like this, and there it is. Okay, so I did make my manual in lever, and uh, welcome back to ASMP. Uh, I just had to have that intro me trading for those boots and the upgrade template because it's really important. But I'm making some ender slime. That's ender slime in there. And I got these other three ingredients. This is like from the rabbit's foot. But these three are supposed to be like poured in here, I think. Oh, okay. I never seen it like that. That is, what the heck? That is cool looking. Yeah, and then I grabbed this. Put in there. Oh, oh, that's cool looking. And then I, okay, so I think I need a lot more than I thought for all of this. So I put this more of this in here. I have no idea how much I need. And then I grab this, put this in here, and traveler's goggles. These are actually a little pricey. You need like three leather, two glass paints, and then like. Uh, to copper. Oh, that looks so cool. I do not know why it looks so cool. Oh, I think that is not meant to happen. Oh my gosh, that is weird. Okay, that is cool. Then I pour you in here, grab this, pour this in here. Oh, what do I get from this? Ooh, I need some slime armor. How much durability? Oh, this is actually cool looking. I think that is almost like an like diamond. And do I bounce from this? Oh. No, I do not. Then what's the point of that? Like, do I not get a bounce from it? Does it not take damage? I honestly have no idea. And also, this plunder, looting three, but it's like looting six or whatever. It's like really good. Same with this, but... This is just better because of the durability. This is like best. And honestly, I think I can give this to Vanny as a present because I don't want this when it's not very good durability, but I love this one. Oh my gosh, I am just boy. <laughs> uh, this is just surprising, but I I don't know what's the point of having the slime armor because I thought I would bounce. Like, how much do I get? I forgot the leather and that, but Actually, what happens if I put Looting 3 and Sharpness 5 on this? Ooh, I just had an idea. I want to test that. I'm going to go do that. Okay, I finally enchanted it. And I don't know what's like the damage. So I'm going to look at this right about now. Ooh, 27 attack damage. Holy lord. Oh man, can I make that any higher? Oh my gosh, that is so OP. 27 attack damage with looting 3. Oh my gosh, I already was one shot everything and I am one shot. What can I one shot? Can I one shot a pillager? Oh, I wonder because honestly, I have been dying so many times to these stupid pillagers. But I'm trying to get rid of them. Where's my totems? There they are. There, there. Oh my god. There they are. Oh my god. Cannot speak today. Oh my gosh, I am. Oh lord, I, I am OP with this one. But honestly, I'm OP with a sword, but not OP with a, with that. But uh, where, 
Oh, actually, let me go to the end. Can I one shot the Enderman? Hey, where are all the Endermen? Come on, little Endermans. I want to one shot you if I can. Okay, they're not one shotting. Oh, it's a two shot. Oh, I got nine Ender Pearls from that. Okay, so it's not a one shot, but it's like a two shot. But I think if I got a critical hit, I think it would be a one shot. Ooh. Yes, it's a two shot. So like damn like oh man, that's like 40. That's 54 health they have. Oh man, that is man, Endermen are pretty good though. Like I'm surprised on how much damage being wrecked. Give me those eyes. Oh no. Wait, is five five a thing? I forget. <laughs> I haven't enchanted armor in a long time, so I don't remember. Okay, it does take damage. Okay. Oh my gosh, I... Okay, I was nice. I should have had a totem in my hand. That's what happened. You can... I got two Enderman heads. Oh my god, that is so pee. Oh wow, um... This thing is really good. Wait, can I get Wither heads? Or wither skulls? Much faster? Well, I'm gonna test that. Okay, now I can see why Manulin... Uh, is so expensive, because... With looting three... And plunder, or what you get, it's like looting ten or whatever. Because I got a bunch of oh no, I just gained so many blaze rods. And oh my gosh, this would have taken an hour, a couple hours, and I got already six heads. And like, what less than 10 minutes? Okay, then wait, I kill this blaze. Oh, that's three. I'm gonna about to pop up two of them. Okay. That is a lot of blaze rods. Um, I feel like can change now. Oh my god. That is a lot of stuff. Oh my gosh, this is broken. In a cool way, because I was not expecting this. I understand why it's so expensive to make now. Oh my god. I'm gonna be having a wizard school shop soon. Oh boy. Um, I'm confused because I thought I just, I was just coming here to mine some deep slate so I can get some diamonds, but I was here and I wanted to break this spawner, but then like, I broke it with this pickaxe and I got the spawner. Wait, what? Is this a feature with stinkers? Like, this has fortune. No silk touch. Wait, what? I'm so confused. Can anyone explain to me if this is a feature or not? Because like I never expected this. Just like the like the ultimate utilities. Wait, what? Um, is this a bug or not? I'm confused. Okay, and we are here at the restricted area, which is the Brotherhood. Restricted Brotherhood area. And also, uh, I know in the last clip, I said, like, I thought it was in the Tinker's Construct, like, pickaxe that done it. No, it was apparently from the Essentials mod that apparently can pick up any type of spawner. I think any type. I don't know about modern ones, but yeah. And right here, actually, I'm thinking to build a bit of, like, a, a wall and maybe, like, a, maybe a tower, like a watchtower. So, what am I going to do here? In the doctrine, and there's like one thing in protect. I'm thinking to have like a wall and maybe a taller one. Because like if you're coming into a castle, it's supposed to be like fortified. This doesn't even look that menacing, but honestly it's still cool. I know it took a lot of work, but I wanted to make it look cooler. And like I have this area cleared out. I flattened a little bit of this area. It's not like fully like filled in, in there. I want to have a wall here and there's gonna be an entrance gate over there. Because like that's like the main area, and then like you're coming in through there, and that is going to be into the mine. Right there, there's actually an ancient city underneath the mountain, so like there being like a big mine shaft thing going into there. I have like some ideas going here, and I'm thinking maybe it should be something with a couple of these blocks. Um, so like maybe like this with a little bit of this, I think. Then, I gave those top. I would have it, but there's no top. I would love it. But, uh, update this in again five days. So, like, honestly, I would love that so much. 
But I am thinking of adding some scope. Maybe like since like a, there's an ancient city saying it's like starting to come up to the surface a little bit there, like I don't know, a little bit of lower. But honestly, it will be looking cool. So let's into let's go into a uh, some kind of time lapse. thing we are done with this little look and honestly it looks pretty good that i uh helped like upgrade this castle thing and actually one thing i was actually not expecting the cap would be on and he actually saw like what i'd done here and he actually he said like how long was i gone and like you built a whole wall and tunnel and he said that it's like looks good and man i'm just surprised and uh right here is like the mine where would be like i like started to build like dig it a little bit but it goes all the way down to the ancient city which is like oh it's really deep and like i dug a little bit down here oh boy what's the rest of the water yeah, I dug a little bit of here with this, like, with the armor and, like, with the pick. Uh, my venue was down here, like, I said, like, don't come to the street and mine it. Mine. And he said, like, why? And, like, I just said, because, oh, it's because of uh, ancient city. And I have a tending lantern down here, just so, like, it's easier to go back up. But the thing is, I'm thinking of having it all the way down. And then, like, it's like a, maybe a crane or something. Me down like with mine shaft, and I even made the watchtower, which is actually right here. And I was trying to figure out the real thing, honestly, it looks pretty cool. And I really loved the inside how it came out. Like, on the outside, it's like dark and ominous, like scary or something, and on the inside, it's like nice and beautiful and lovely. It's double layered, so it actually looks pretty cool. And I added this wood floor, saying like this is like the armory for the archers or something, you load up something or however slim or cap wants it and then here's like the top deck with a nice roof and like you can see all of the castle area up here and like the walkway and i even done like the castle wall uh let me go all the way back down this actually i actually had to find a tutorial online how to do this because honestly i was having a hard time to make this and honestly now that I looked at it, it's actually pretty easy to do. I like it. And I made this wall. I think a creeper blew up there. But uh, all of this looks pretty cool. And you mean this cool wall. And honestly, that actually looks pretty good. Not too shabby. I mean, I like, done like a little bit of a slab staircase here. So like, it's easier to come up here. And honestly, it looks really good. Even from the side, this looks awesome. Oh, wow. That actually looks not too bad. I do like it. And there's the ancient city music playing in the background. I have no idea why it keeps doing that when I, when I go down there and then I come back from there. It's like, there's the music. Oh boy, why does that happen? I even had like a uh, gateway here, but then I removed it because it didn't look as good as I hoped. But maybe I just should build it so it can like be cooler. Like it'll be a double checkpoint. You have this here, then you come in here, and then there's like another checkpoint right there. It won't be functional, but uh, it will look cool. And then I don't know how this area should look, but it's just a work in progress. But man, I really like how it came out. And I'm thinking, what if I put these here? Oh, that actually looks not too. Uh, what the heck? That actually looks pretty good. Like that. Okay, okay, I like that. Just so it can be a little bit more lit up because like one of the mobs and two I wanted to make it look a little bit cool. So yeah, I think that's actually pretty good for the castle, like so far for the pathway and like the watchtower. Uh, I don't know what else, but I do think 
when the update comes out, but I think it'll be pretty good to have this staircase removed and add the tough be a little bit more gradual or something. I don't know. Actually, no, I think it'll be pretty good, good like that. I feel like there should be some more things being connected around here, but honestly, it looks so good. I don't know why, but that st spiral staircase looks like a like a drill or something, or like one of those like modded dungeons where you used to go into the underground like it's like i seen the, this stuff on youtube and java edition like it, it's like the modded version a stone slab staircase going underground and then like there's tunnels into like the dungeon area like what if that was here but was like other things like maybe like little secrets of some sort that you don't know about and then you just like figure out oh boy it's like this is like what it feels like these like Order corridors, court. Oh my gosh, I have no idea how to pronounce them. Is it cord corridor court? Oh my, the corridor doors, corridors. Yeah, like something like that. Like going to there, and like one is like closed off, the other one is like it's like all like randomly generated. But I'm like thinking, what if it was like that? I don't know, something cool. But I, I sure think this actually would be pretty cool. Like you would have like a cool thing around here. This area is good for now i don't know what else should i add but i think i should go back to my area and i think i should get some armor because i don't have that good armor well i know this is elf armor but maybe i should make it into just have some diamond normal diamond armor because i need to upgrade at least something i died too many times on this world and also there's been this weird glitch going on where like you teleport and there's like another one inside of a Tending Lantern, and then I've been having this double to like get rid of it. I don't know why it's been going on. It's a weird bug. But I think now that Zip has to fix that up. It's a bug, which is the creator of the Tending Lanterns. I made my diamond armor, but I also was organizing here because honestly, I don't know it's a chest monster. Still is a chest monster here. I like have like mostly miscellaneous stuff i do not know where i have to like still organize it but most of it is organized in there move that in here those two double chests are seeds and the rest of it is in here and all of it is organized like most of it here and two double chests of stone and like the special twin feathers like the band made and all of it is organized all of it is here i have like this <laughs> Oh man, it's so good. And all the gunpowder and bones and oh, sand and gravel. Actually, more gravel than sand. I'm just surprised. And at least some coal. Uh, and rods. Um, there's not that many. Copper and gold. There's a lot of, a bunch. Half ton of copper right there. Uh, wheat. Uh, spoke right there. Blaze heads. Uh, muddy mangrove roots. Uh, this from trading and some totems and honestly it's not too bad and I moved like some of the stuff like the deep state and tough from what I mind and I ain't got this much tough compared to like all those being full of deep state there's more deep state at the restricted mind but honestly not that much what I'm actually wanting to do with all that tough I actually want to make a tough bridge with like maybe some other stuff over there like, but with the tough brick when the 1.21 update comes out, which is really soon, and honestly, I'll be excited for that one. And I think maybe for that one, I will go on a wiki trials, well, the tower chambers thing. And over here, I'm thinking to have a dockyard, or maybe I should have it bigger here, because I honestly want this to be like where like all the ships come in or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. I actually do want to have this more open, but it will be cool. And like from there, like I think I should make that more mountainous there, and then it'll be a bridge. I think that'll be cool, or something. I I want to make it look cool. And from there, you have like a path going down, like zigzagging all the way to here, which would be cool. And I know Benny has been doing some terraform over there. Honestly, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, I really like how this is actually going to turn out. I am. I think I might be mostly prepared for the 1.21 update. 
I really want to travel chambers and I want to get it, but I need a cartographer for, uh, for the travel chambers. I'm going to get all that copper from there and the top brick. And honestly, I think that main armor will be pretty good uh, for now. This is going to be my mining armor. That main armor is just going to be normal. Honestly, I might use this when I'm in the tricky trials. First time with the mining and cleaver to see how easy it is to kill every mob. But yeah. And if it's never too much, I'm gonna make a normal diamond sword or something. I don't know. Yep. And I think that'll do it for today. Yep. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next Tricky Trials update. Oh man, I am excited for this update.